Hey guys, so recently I came across a video from a popular Chinese uh, badminton vlogger speaking on the topic of stringing and he was mentioning that when you string a racket you should always string your crosses two pounds higher than the mains and his reason was that it's to help get the racket back to its original shape and you should always always do that um, so my view on that is it's not a must and I'm gonna show you a really simple way for you to determine whether or not you should or shouldn't do it and then I'll give you the ex explanations to why I would think so so what all you need is your racket your racket before you string it before and after you string it and also one of these um, I have a tape measure you don't need a tape measure regular wood ruler would do just fine you just need a ruler that will be wide enough so that it can measure basically the distance across so the only reason why people would recommend that is to maintain the shape the original shape of the racket head a lot of people think it's you know they should squeeze the head a little bit that is not recommended it's very easy to for the racket to break at 12 o'clock this part the upper hoop of the frame is very fragile so what you can do is get a tape measure and then before you string it just count either count down from the top or the bottom so get somewhere closer to the size or if you if your racket has um, a symmetrical decal on it find a spot that you're gonna take a look at what this is and then you're gonna give the racket to your stringer once you're done once they're done with string and racket you're gonna take the ruler again measure the same spot and see if the racket head is see if it's the same distance see if the head looks either stretched out uh, vertically or flattened down horizontally and then measure it so if the measurement is close that means the stringer has done a good job uh, whatever method he uses it's done a good job maintaining the shape original shape of the racket and that's the most important point it depends a lot on the method the stringer utilizes and also the type of machine he's using um, some machines does a better job securing the racket so you don't have to raise the tension other machines some sometimes older machines or uh, machines that were not designed for badminton rackets specifically those machines you might need to raise the tension a little bit um, and not everyone does it either a lot of um, so a lot of professional players do it some professional players don't um, like some don't even care so so if you do care about your racket a lot like I do with my rackets um, that would be a very good method to check if your stringer um, is well not just your stringer your stringer and like the combination of the method he's using is protecting a racket correctly um, and yep that's it see you next time